This past weekend has been the most fun I've had in such a long time. After such a great, great weekend making incredible memories, it is definitely time to get back to normality and really just reset myself onto my normal routine again. So let's get started. gets so dusty and I don't know why but this table is so dusty and it just needs a good clean I the thing about Dyson's is like I never know how to take it out of the holder so it's always like a such a struggle rented apartment and flat I've ever lived in bar one has never had a tumble dryer and it's so frustrating using one of these things all the time oh my god does it take forever I think it's time that we take a walk outside. The weather today is absolutely beautiful. The past week has been nothing but snow, rain, ice, and today it seems like it's the first day that it's actually sunny and safe to walk outside. So I'm gonna get changed out of this and go out and take a walk. Because I've been so sick the past like week, this walk is either gonna cure me or kill me off. I don't know which one. So let's just go and find out. <laughs> walk was so nice look at my hair though this is a bit crazy so got myself a hot chocolate and some carrots and hummus and i'm going to get changed and start editing this video you're watching to kind of help get me on track with at least some kind of semblance of regular uploads but <laughs> Never happens. <laughs>
So I just wanted to explain kind of what's going on in this shot. I basically sat down, got really cozy, set the mood and journaled. Wrote about my goals and how I'm getting on with achieving them and kind of reflecting a little bit on the fact that I'm not really where I thought I would be and then making a plan about how I can get there. I think it's really important to stop, journal and reflect. It kind of creates this moment in time where you are making sure that you are exactly where you need to be. And I think it's so, so important not just to journal about how you're feeling, but actually check in and make sure that you're on the right track. And that's basically what I did here for around half an hour. Went in, dug it all up, aired it out and made a plan to make sure that I am back on track come Monday morning. Oh, one second. I am just about to start picking out my outfits for the week ahead. I find that pre-planning all my outfits makes me a lot less stressed in the morning. But while I'm here, I kind of wanted to touch on this concept that I've been struggling with for, I would say the past year or so. I kind of just wanted to talk about it and kind of my experience with the Sunday scaries. If you don't know what the Sunday scaries are, it's basically feeling really apprehensive and really nervous about the week ahead and I'm getting a little bit of anxiety for just work in general. Let me know in the comments if you suffer with Sunday scaries. If you don't, feel free to skip to this part of the video and skip this completely. I never really experienced this until I was a graduate and got my first nine to five job. I think the reason I get it with this job is the amount of pressure I feel from this job is insane. And so basically it would get to the point where I would be crying or I would be really, really anxious about Monday and it would totally ruin my whole weekend. But I have definitely found, and I know I've literally just spoken about it, but journaling, is so important and I cannot stress this enough. But there are certain things that I found journaling about really, really helped. And that was journaling about my triggers. I asked myself, okay, how am I feeling? And then I would write about how I was feeling. And then I would ask myself, why am I feeling that way? And then I would ask myself the same question again. Why am I feeling that way? So that allows you to go one step deeper into your own psyche and kind of start to understand the root causes of why you're feeling so anxious. And then I would ask myself, what can I do about this? What can I do so I don't feel like this? And obviously the number one thing I would write is quit my job. <laughs> of course, we would all love to quit our jobs and never have to work again but that's not an option. And so the second thing I would write would be, I can stop feeling this way if I do X, Y, and Z. And those are basically things that you need to do to make sure that you don't feel this way anymore. I still get Sunday scaries. It happens from time to time. I think that preparing on a Sunday evening is the number one way to help and to understanding your triggers through journaling and then obviously if you know you think things are really quite bad I would suggest you know getting professional help you'll be okay everything's okay it's just a job it's not the end of the world and I should not be drinking this at eight o'clock at night Set a timer for 10 minutes, please. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Thanks. Yeah. I know you're not meant to make the glass thing touch your skin, but I don't care. I really hope that you are also 
having a really calming reset yourself this weekend. As always, I'm on the search for more channels like my own, minimalism channels, self-development channels. And if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments or self-promote your channel down there too. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.